Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Today I'm going to continue working on my Zodiac doll collection and you know there are not that many dolls left. Today we're going to make a Scorpio doll, the next month it's Sagittarius and then somewhere close to the new year is going to be the last doll, the Capricorn doll. And that's it, I don't know, this project seemed so big and now it's almost done. So, today it's time for a Scorpio. I know Halloween has been passed already, but for, not for me, you know, I'm recording this video still in the middle of October. So, Halloween is still in the air. And anyway, I think there still will be some Halloween parties this weekend, so I still kept my dark background, because the Scorpio doll is going to be for sure a little bit dark and a little bit, you know, kind of Halloween related. But first of all, I want to say hello to all my Scorpio people here. Hello, Scorpio people, how are you doing? I wish all of you the very happy birthday and I really hope you're going to have a lot of fun this month. So, and now let's probably start the transformation and as a model for this makeover, I'm going to use this Monster High doll. First of all, I absolutely love her face mold. She's not that sweet and cute girl, but more like a cold beauty. And this is exactly what I need today. And her pure white skin tone is also a very big plus point, because as you could see it already from the thumbnail, today we are going to make a black and white doll. And I really think it's gonna be a very interesting challenge for me. I've never done it before and I definitely want to try it once at least. So, like always, before making a new doll, we need to remove all her current features, starting with her outfit and her hair, like always. And after this, I'm going to make her head soft using the hot air of my hair dryer. And like this, I will be able to remove her head easily, making no damage to her neck. And it will also melt the old glue inside of the head. After her hair is gone, I can finally take my second favorite toxic product in the world, pure acetone, and I'm going to remove this doll's face. Of course, our black and white Scorpio doll will have black hair. So, first of all, I want to cover her head with a couple of layers of black acrylics. And then I'm taking this midnight black saran hair and it means that the next hours I will spend in front of my laptop rerouting doll hair and watching true crime videos on YouTube. I don't know why, but this is really my favorite type of content to watch while working on doll hair for many hours. I've mentioned it already once on my Instagram stories. I know my favorite one is Stephanie Harlow. I think she's just an amazing storyteller. And I also prefer longer videos, when they're going really deep into a situation. And I also love Daniel Hallen, Kendall Ray, of course, but she goes mostly for shorter versions of a story. So, if you have any good true crime recommendations for me, let them in the comments, please. To the front of the hairline, I also want to add a strand of pure white hair, because I really think this contrast would look very interesting on this doll. And 
And then after this I'm going to add quite a lot of tacky glue inside of the hat and I will let it dry for sure for 24 hours. And now it's time for my number one favorite toxic product in the world. And this is of course Mr. Super Clear Sealant. Well, and this is my very monochromatic palette for today. You know already probably that nowadays some makeup brands, they started to produce gray palettes. And when you look at their promo pictures somewhere on Instagram, it gives you a complete illusion that this is a black and white photo. But in reality, it is a black and white palette. So I really want to reach exactly the same effect with this doll. Okay, now her face looks almost finished and now it's time for some very special body features. I want to make some sort of a removable construction on her back that would imitate, I know, like Scorpio body features, like legs and these claws, things like this. So I start with making a hole on the back and then I'm going to make legs out of Warbler Cobra Cast Thermoplastic.
And after this construction has been finished, I cover it with black acrylics and then I also apply a layer of acrylic varnish on top of it. So and now let's finally work on her body skin tone. First of all, I want to cover these transparent legs and hands with a couple of layers of white acrylics. Then I spray the body with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I cover it with a couple of layers of grey pastels. Ok, the next step is styling her hair and I'm going to imitate a little bit the shape of a Scorpio's tail. So and now I think we can move to the outfit part of the transformation and my mom has been actually responsible for the dress today and I've asked her to make something black obviously, something very like slim, really perfectly fit the body and with some possible accents, I don't know, on the bottom of the dress, maybe some feathers or something like this. So and here is her work in progress video.
So, and this is the end result of my mom's work. I really think this dress fits perfectly this doll's concept. And I really like these feathers on the bottom. It gives in some way some spider feelings in some way. And I've also chosen this pair of shoes to complete the look. Now I still want to attach the false lashes and add glossy varnish to horizon lips. And you know, I want to add one more detail. I think our doll still needs long black nails. In my Simply Nail Logical doll makeover, I ask you for a life hack how to make long doll nails. And many, many, many of you told me to try hot glue, because this is what Hexion used on his Jeffree Star doll. And as you can see, this trick works perfectly, it seems. So, and here is my black and white Miss Scorpio. I think she looks just majestic. And I'm also very happy that her face turned on very alive, even though we didn't use any living colors. Because I was a little bit worried in the beginning that she might look like some corpse bride in the end or something like this. So I'm very happy I could avoid that effect. And I also think it really quite looks like a black and white picture. And that was my main goal for today in some way. So, now I'm really curious to hear what my Scorpio people think about this doll. Let's discuss it in the comments, because for me it's always extremely interesting to hear different opinions. And this doll will be available for sale, like always, on eBay. And the link you can find in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. I'm also sending lots of love to my Scorpio people out there. I really hope, guys, you're going to have a lot of fun this month. And of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, with your comments. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you, like always, very soon next week Friday in my new Dory Paint video. Love you guys. Bye!